my battery is at 16 percent. The police tell me they can't make him bring my kids here because I violated the order in the first place by not being here at four. He called his sergeant, Sergeant Looney, and he says, well, Paul was here at four, and I broke the order, so this court order giving me custody of my kids, I didn't comply with. Well, I didn't comply with it when I took them out of his vehicle at Country Mart when they were alone, and I was questioned about it by the police, and I admitted that I knowingly did it. And I'm going to sit here until Mr. Canfield decides to bring his children to me because I'm not doing anything wrong. I just want my children. <laughs> and I don't care if it's five minutes that I have to wait for them to be brought back to me or if it's an hour or two. But I've asked for help, and no one will help me. <laughs> I'll be here until my kids are here. Because this isn't right. <laughs> I violated that order two, almost three weeks ago. And I have proof, and I took pictures as I did it. I couldn't ignore my children being left alone. But I'm not going to ignore this either. I haven't broke the law. I've done everything I can do to comply with the court order when he didn't want his children on Sunday to begin with. And on Monday when I tried to give them to him, Monday night he's in the bar with his friend. There's proof of that. <laughs> This whole time he was supposed to have his kids, he didn't get them until yesterday afternoon. <laughs> and he asked for them to that judge for full custody, but he hasn't even taken them when he should. And he's broken this order, the order he asked for and he didn't even need. Thank you.